Hey everyone, Andrew here from Safe Web Life. Have you ever felt like ads are following you around the internet? Or wondered how websites seem to know exactly what you're thinking about? Well, you're not imagining things. Almost everything we do online leaves a trail, and companies are constantly collecting that information. In this video, I'm going to give you your complete, easy to understand guide to stop online tracking. We'll go through simple steps from choosing the right browser to using smart tools so that you can take back control of your privacy. Think of this as your friendly guide to a safer internet. First, let's quickly understand how this tracking actually happens. Imagine you visit a website. That website, and often many other companies you've never heard of, drop tiny digital tags on your computer called cookies. These cookies remember things about you, what you clicked, what you looked at, even how long you stayed. Then there's something called browser fingerprinting. This is like websites taking a unique snapshot of your computer setup, your screen size, your fonts, your operating system. Put all that together and they can often identify you without even needing a cookie. And of course, every time you search on Google or use social media, those companies are collecting tons of data about your interests. Even your internet provider, the company you pay for internet, can see what websites you visit. All this tracking builds up a detailed profile of you. It's used for targeted ads, but it can also be used to influence you, or even worse, if that data falls into the wrong hands. So your first line of defense, choosing a private browser. So where do we start? Your browser is like your car for the internet. If you want to drive safely, you need a safe car. Number one, Firefox. This is a fantastic choice. It's made by a non-profit, so its main goal isn't to collect your data. It's highly customizable, and with a few tweaks, you can make it super private. I even have a video on hardening Firefox if you want to go deep. Next up, we have Brave. This one is built with privacy in mind from the ground up. It automatically blocks ads and trackers without you having to do anything. It's fast and easy to use, especially if you're coming from Chrome. And then finally we have Tor. If you need maximum privacy, you really don't want anyone to know who you are or where you're browsing from, Tor is the way to go. It bounces your internet traffic through multiple relays around the world, making it very hard to trace. It's a bit slower but incredibly powerful for privacy. So you might be asking why not Chrome or Edge? While they're popular, these browsers are made by companies Google and Microsoft whose business models rely heavily on collecting your data. They're not designed with privacy first in mind. Essential browser settings you must change. No matter which private browser you pick, there are some key settings you should always adjust. I'll use general terms here, but these options exist in most privacy-focused browsers. Number one, you want to block third-party cookies. Go into your browser's privacy settings and look for cookies. Make sure you're blocking third-party cookies. What this does is stops those little digital tags from advertisers that follow you from website to website. It's a huge step in stopping targeted ads. Next, you want to enable HTTPS only mode. Look for the setting like Always Use Secure Connections or HTTPS only mode and turn it on. What this does, this forces your browser to only connect to websites using a secure encrypted connection. It's like making sure your conversations online are always private and can't be easily listened to. Then you want to disable autocomplete and prediction services. In your browser settings, find anything about autocomplete, prediction services, or making browsing better. Turn these off. What this does, this feature send what you type and search for back to your browser's company to improve your experience. Turning them off stops that data sharing. And finally, turn off telemetry usage reports. Look for settings that ask you to send usage data or diagnostic reports. Turn these off. What this does, this stops your browser from sending anonymous or sometimes not so anonymous data about how you use your browser back to the developers. So now we have to look at must-have privacy extensions. Browser extensions are like little apps you add to your browser to give it superpowers. For privacy, these are your digital bodyguards. uBlock Origin. Uh, this is my top pick. It's a super powerful ad and tracker blocker. It's lightweight, free and doesn't sell your data. 
What it does is, it blocks almost all ads, pop-ups and hidden trackers, making your browsing faster and much cleaner. Then we have Privacy Badger. And Privacy Badger is made by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, a respected digital rights group. And what it does is it actually learns which companies are tracking you and automatically blocks them over time, even if they're new. Then we have Clear URLs. And what it does, ever notice really long web addresses with lots of random letters and numbers? Those are often tracking codes. Clear URLs automatically strips them out so you click cleaner links. Then we have Decentralize. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not too sure about that. But what it does is many websites load common pieces of code from big companies like Google. Decentralize intercepts these requests and provides the code locally so you don't have to connect to those big companies just to load a website. And finally we have Smart HTTPS. And if your browser doesn't have HTTPS only mode built in, you could install this and it ensures your connection to websites is always encrypted, protecting your data from being read by others. Okay, so beyond the browser, other privacy tools. Um, privacy search engine. Stop using Google for searches. Switch to DuckDuckGo, Start Page, or Brave Search. Also, you could consider uh, a VPN. Um, a virtual private network encrypts all your internet traffic and routes it through a server in another location. It hides your real IP address and makes it much harder for your internet provider or anyone else to see what you're doing online. Uh, make sure to look for No Logs VPN. Um, I'll have a link in the description below that leads to my website where you can learn how to set up a VPN on any device, a step-by-step -step guide. And then email aliases. Um, you could use something like Simple Login. And this gives you a fake email address to use when signing up for things, forwarding emails to your real inbox. This stops companies from getting your actual email address and tracking you. And then we have smart habits for a private life online. Finally, tools are great, but your habits are just as important. One, think before you click. Be careful with suspicious links and emails or on social media. 2. Review extensions. Only install extensions you absolutely trust and need. They can see a lot of what you do. 3. Log out. Don't stay logged into Google, Facebook or other accounts everywhere you go. Log out when you're done. 4. Clear cookies regularly. Even with blockers, clearing your browser's cookies every now and then is a good habit. And 5. Separate browsers. Consider using one browser for sensitive tasks like banking and another for general browsing. And there you have it, your complete guide to stop online tracking. You now know how tracking works, which browsers to trust, the best privacy extensions and essential tools like private search and VPNs. Taking these steps will make a huge difference in protecting your digital life. For all the links to the tools and other privacy guides, head over to safeweblife.com. If this video helped you feel more secure online, please hit the like button, subscribe for more quality tips and share it with a friend who needs to stop being tracked. Stay safe out there and remember, privacy first.